let's start with a great example of how Grains Research and Development, partly funded by growers through GRDC, is helping to provide an answer to the number one disease of wheat. Jane Drinkwater reports on this breakthrough research. Costing an estimated $212 million in yield losses each year, yellow spot, or tan spot as the fungal disease is known internationally, is a problem hitting Australian wheat growers squarely in the hip pocket. It's hosted uh, over summer by, by stubble and so the initial inoculum arises from last year's infected crops. Within the growing season, the spores start to produce on the dead leaves of the new crop and those spores are spread by wind within the crop and between crops. You can see the uh, tan centres with a sort of a yellow halo around them. Um, these will increase in size, join together. But th what you'll also see is the movement of the disease up through the canopy into the, into the top of the plant. And how is the plant affected? What happens is that these lesions uh, remove photosynthetic area and so they, they affect the, the ability of the plant to produce grain and also on the size of the grains that are produced by the plant. It's the major disease of wheat in Australia. People think that rusts are, are, are important, but in fact this is the one that's really causing the most damage. And it's also interesting because it's actually a recently evolved disease. It only was described in the 1930s and 1940s, arrived in Australia in the 50s and now become it's quadrupled in importance in the last decade, so it's a really important disease. But the severity of tan or yellow spot may soon be lessened. GRDC funded research has resulted in a significant breakthrough that could cut the damage bill in half. Researchers had thought these pathogens caused damage in a non-specific way, but Richard Oliver and his research team discovered that's not the case actually very specific in the way they interact with the plants and they do that with, by secreting a series of proteins and if those proteins have an appropriate receptor then a reaction is caused and the disease is admitted into the, into the, into the plant and it, and it causes a problem. The team identified the link between the secreted proteins and the gene TOX-A, then developed a test to simply and quickly tell whether a plant had the receptor for the TOX-A protein. In tan spot, it seems that tox A is really the most important uh, effector and is a very substantial proportion of the total variation in resistance. So what we found is that uh, plants that are insensitive to tox A are substantially more resistant on average than plants that, that are that are sensitive to, to tox A. Using the test, breeders can quickly tell whether a variety is tan spot resistant, bypassing complex, expensive and time-consuming DNA testing or months of quantitative assessments in the field. It turned what had been a, a relatively difficult phenotype or property for breeders to, to select for to one that's really very easy for them to select for. And they can simply discard the sensitive plants and then concentrate on the things that are much more difficult for them like drought tolerance, like yield, like the rust resistances. We've been testing the, the system for the last two years and that's already had an impact on our breeding program in that we've been able to identify um, resistant and susceptible lines a lot earlier in our program and make use of them as parents, make use of, res of resistant lines as parents back into the crossing block. The test is carried out by introducing a dilution of the protein into a leaf. Within a fortnight, the leaf will either develop a burnt patch, indicating the plant contains the Toxa protein receptor and is more susceptible to tan spot, or the leaf will show no change, meaning it's significantly more resistant to the disease. Toxa insensitivity is, is, is really the backbone of yellow spot resistance. You infiltrate with a syringe infiltrate into the leaf and you're scoring them two weeks later. And so it's, it's that quick. By removing one variable from the equation early on in the breeding process, it's possible to produce tan spot resistant varieties with improved traits. You can put on more selection pressure for yield and quality and not waste all your resources um, looking at lines that are susceptible to yellow spot. The breakthrough could result in savings of around $100 million a year. I think this is really quite a substantial step. Um, the, the savings 
could well be half the total losses in, in the course of two or three years. It's clear this discovery has caused a bit of excitement here in the lab, but how soon will growers feel the benefits on farm? Well, they can actually see a benefit pretty quickly. In the, if we published a list of varieties, wheat varieties both suitable for both East and West Australia, that are insensitive to this effector, Toxa. So we would advocate growers to use those varieties, and I would suggest that that should reduce the amount of losses they see to, to these diseases pretty immediately, which would mean better disease control, less use of fungicides and, and less problems in subsequent years. It's another example of GRDC fast-tracking industry improvements. There's a lot of research money going into some very good research on the rusts, on tan spot, on uh, Staganospora or Septura nodorum, the farms that probably know it as. That research means that you've got more genes for resistance being identified all the time. There's more tools that you can use in the breeding program. I think the impacts of the diseases are, are slowly going to get less um, as, we, as we build more of those resistance genes in. And that's great news for Australia's grain industry. Now for more information about those yellow or tan spot resistant varieties, we've stuck a link on the website. Go to grdc.com.au forward slash groundcovertv.